Hello, I'm here with Ashley from Fashionately Me, the cutest fashion vlog ever. <laughs> and we are at the most adorable influencer dinner. Look at this table. And this backyard is incredible. Like, I don't think I'd ever go inside if I lived here. I think I would just live in the backyard. So I'm so excited to get started. You'll see a couple other influencers over there and it should be a fun night. Like, I, knew, I knew there were three of you, and I was like, you can all come, or like, whoever can come, yeah. come, you know, but. So, so, what are you guys do? Like, how do you guys, like, work together, or how do you do both? I'm Ashley. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we just have a good time and thanks for having us here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so fun. Thank you. I don't, I don't know, I like to think about this, it's like, this is the hard part, I can't yeah. do this. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, it's not really like a tip, because most people probably by now know this, but like, when I was starting out, I was just like, I don't look like any of the people who are doing this. I was like, I'm five feet tall, I'm not seven feet tall, I don't have blonde hair down to my belly button, like, I can't afford that Gucci this, and I can't afford this, I'm just a 19 year old kid, but I like, enjoyed it. So I was like, even though I look different, I don't, I'm not like them. I was like, I'm still gonna do it, and it's okay to not look like them because that's what makes me me. So that's kind of my tip. But um, and I cry at everything. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, y'all, so I just got back from the Bridging Her dinner party, which was absolutely bananas and gorgeous, and it was everything I never expected. Um, to be honest, you know, I got the invitation. Aaron had reached out to me a while back. I've heard of Bridging Her box, and, um, you know, I, I didn't know what to think. It was, you know, hey, it's a dinner party in my backyard. I'm like, wow, that's amazing. Like, thank you so much for opening your house up. Had no idea it was going to be like to the nines as you saw from the video. So I'm gonna link everyone who contributed below. So definitely check all of them out. Um, our dinner was amazing. And it was about 20 different influencers, content creators, bloggers, vloggers, photographers, interior design designers, um, chefs, foodie people, you know, just, it's awesome to get to sit down with those people and actually, you know, pick their brains and get to talk, which leads me to my second thing. Um, I was so nervous before I went because in the email, Aaron had put, you know, hey, come to this dinner with your best piece of, you know, girl boss advice. I'm sitting here like, what the heck am I going to say? Like, I don't know. And, um, you know, I filmed about three people. I think I'm going to throw them all in the video, their little pieces of advice and my piece of advice for anyone getting started is, you know, when you pitch someone as an influencer, no isn't the end of the world. You know, that's honestly the worst thing someone can tell you is no, we're not interested in working with you. More than likely, you will get no, we're not interested right now, or we don't have the budget. However, you know, reach back out to him in six months, reach back out to him in a year and say, hey, I've, I've grown my audience, or, you know, here's an example of, you know, my review on one of your projects and, you know, just getting to know that brand more. If, you, if you're really die hard about trying, you know, no isn't no forever. So on that note, we have the Bridge and Her Story box. I'm gonna open, just dropped my little informational sheet. So I'm gonna give you guys a little background on this. So this is the Bridge box. And this is the summer box. It says, this season it brings those long awaited vacations to the sea. Fresh seasonal produce and drippy ice cream cones. I come ready to soak up the warm vibes and deliver a splash of color to the happiness of those summer months. Whether you're headed to the beach or a local farmer's market with your new tote, using the headbands from messy buns or enjoying the fresh, fresh fragrance of citrus, we guarantee this box will aid in celebrating the adventure of summer days. Yes. All right, and on the inside, it tells you about the four contributors to the box. So I'm gonna read you their little bios and what they have included. This is a box, it's a quarterly service. Um, I definitely will be setting up. Plus, who doesn't love getting like a little fun package that you don't even know what's in it every single, like once a quarter. It's four times a year, it's perfect. I love it. So, I'm gonna move this plastic before my cat eats it. Quit eating plastic. Let's get in. So first off, it's super cute. It is packaged with a yay sticker. I'm all about that. Let's get into it. Ooh, okay. So first off, we have these Made by Molly cute headbands. These are adorable. So let's learn a little bit more about her. 
Made by Molly. We've included a set of three soft knit stretch headbands in this box. They are the perfect accessory for any woman on the go. Made in three neutral colors and prints and tied in three fun ways, it will enhance any hairstyle for a mess free and painless cute look. Awesome, I'm here for this. Molly herself runs Made by Molly, a mama of three kids un four and under. Girl, you got your hands full. <laughs> she specializes in baby moccasins and apparel. I definitely want to see her baby moccasins because those sound amazing. I wonder how you even get into that. Everything is handmade by local mamas here in Avon, Indiana. Cool. And you can find her at etsy.com slash shop slash made by Molly Morehouse and on social made by Molly. Cool. I'm excited for these. So fun. So next we have these two things, I think they are in here from her story. This one is North Clark Creative, and it's a really cute little print. It says, she was one of those rare ones, so effortlessly herself, and the world loved her for it. Cute. Put this in my little cubicle at work. And I have a cute little her story card holder on your phone. Always need one of these. Um, ooh, let's go for the candle. So this is Unplug Soy Candles in Sugared Citrus. Oh my gosh, that is everything sweet and perfect. It says tropical fruits dipped in a sugary heaven. Oh yeah. Let's find out a little bit more about unplugged candles. Unplug candles? Unplug soy candles. It says, take a whiff of your new favorite summer candle and the top selling scent, sugared citrus. With a burn time of 40 to 50 hours and your new gold tin candle, you'll have plenty of time to enjoy its sweet fragrance. Based in Fortville, Indiana, Unplug Soy Candles hand pours their highly fragranced candles in small batch selections. They use only the finest ingredients, including 100% soy wax from US grown soybeans, premium all natural, natural fragrance oils, and lead-free cotton wicks. And you can find her at unpluggedsoycandles.com. Cool, thanks, Jennifer. I think I see my favorite thing. This is Fancy Fortune Cookies. Can y'all see these fun colors? Ooh, I can't even wait to see what the fortunes say. I bet you they're even better. These look amazing. So this is from Erin. So these beauties are baked fresh by indie-based Fancy Fortune Cookies. Picnic on blueberry, green apple, lemon, and strawberry and raspberry flavors. Oh my gosh. Created by the company who transformed fortune cookies from dull and beige to wow and yum. Erin, the CEO, also calls herself the, co the company's stunt woman due to all the juggling she does as a single mom and entrepreneur who is growing fancy fortune cookies in ever more imaginative ways. I love that. You are a heck of a stunt woman. Her company is the largest small batch custom fortune cookie bakery in the world. Gosh. You can find her at fancyfortunecookies.com. Cool. I love these. I'm totally taking these to like with me this weekend. Ooh. And then we have, is it Micah Goods? Maka Goods? This says, from work to weekends, our versatile market tote includes a nifty strap with a hook to attach our pouches or keys printed on recycled canvas with eco-friendly pigment inks 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 crazy i love this look at this cute little print so cute i love the shape too i'm trying to use less plastic bags and more reusable totes and this will be perfect for the farmer's market so she creates eco-friendly and stylish goods that are simple solutions for everyday life. From bags, travel accessories, and home goods, our designs feature hand-printed and original patterns and functional design infused with a touch of playfulness and unexpected delight. And this is at M-A-I-K-A-Goods.com. These are fun. I wanna see what other prints she has too because these are just absolutely adorable and they feel really durable too fit plenty of things. Cool. And then the last thing I had in my box was this cute little thank you. It says thank you for being a world changer from sevenlee.org. 
It says, hashtag because people matter. The purchase of this box empowers women by donating to the Athena International, uh, seeking to support, develop, and honor women leaders. To see more products that do this, visit sevenly.org. Cool. I love that this is all local and that it supports local and all of that goodness. This is so fun. If you guys are debating on picking up a quarterly box, I super recommend this. Again, I love that it supports local, love that it's fun. Um, you know, the products are all stuff that you want to find in a box. You know, I, I've done some of those subscription boxes where you get the same thing over and over again. And, you know, maybe it's not a product that I, like I've done like the makeup boxes and those are great, but sometimes they're not always uh, the product that I want to use every single month. Like I don't need a hundred mascaras. I need like one for three months. So um, check the link in my bio, make sure you sign up to get your own bridge box. And again, thank you so much, Erin, and everyone who contributed to tonight's dinner. Had a amazing time, and I'm so thankful to be in such a collaborative community in Indy. I feel like this does not exist in all cities, and I really wish that it did because, again, we're all in this together, and it's so fun when you can, you know, do stuff with people who get it. You know, like a friend of mine at dinner from Shades of Green, she was like, you know, this is a dinner where you can be on your phone, you can be taking pictures and no one's judging you. No one's, you know, making a comment or laughing about it. It's just, we don't do it. So, you know, it's fun. So thank you so much for putting this together and I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Stay tuned to see their fall box, which I will be ordering. Night guys.